Ready for water. It's a high risk job and when your life is on the line, you need to know someone has your back. Firefighting is the, the nature of business where it's such a team sport, if you, if you will. We rely, you put your hands, you put your life in the guy's hands we are with. City, hold that water for a minute, please. A tight-knit community. They are firefighters and they are brothers. And this is the cool thing as well. Firefighters and rugby players are a lot of times synonymous. So when a current firefighter and a former national rugby player got cancer, these guys came together. Uh, I don't know a, a lot about cancer, but I know Spencer, and he's a great athlete, extremely competitive, and uh, a tough, uh, you know what. Because of Spencer Robinson, South Island fire crews are raising money and awareness through a newly formed organization called FACE, Firefighters Against Cancerous Exposures. Now firefighters from Victoria, Saanich, Oak Bay, Esquimalt and D&D are taking their support to new heights. This is the Lift for Life uh, fundraiser for the BC Cancer Foundation and the Firefighter Cancer Support Network. And it's a 24, I'm going to spend 24 hours in this little bucket. And Tom Woods better like heights. Starting tomorrow night, this will be his home. Nine stories up, that's 26 meters or 85 feet in the air. You know, these things are super safe and uh, look at the view. I mean, I'd have to buy a condo for $500,000 with this kind of view in Victoria, so I think I'm getting one for free. And it's a little bit small. It's probably it's a little a, small. It's a bachelor suite. And he won't be alone in this small space. Four rugby playing firefighters will take turns keeping Woods company and enjoying the view. It'll, it'll be interesting up there, 85 feet up. Hopefully the weather will be nice and it'll be a good turnout. For a comrade in need, this is uplifting support. And these firefighters are taking it to the next level. Over the uh, harness, and then hey, uh, we got. The oh, yeah. I need a chest strap. And then it died down, and then it got really windy. Yeah, the bucket was moving really pretty good for a while. That was yours. In the full forecast coming up a little later. Your chance to win that great grand prize uh, a couple of nights at the Empress and uh, tickets, of course, to the uh, Titanic exhibit at the Royal BC Museum and a Helijet trip. It's all worth about 1900 bucks. So we'll have that answer for you coming up uh, a little later in the show. All right, let's go way up there. I feel like the friendly giant, way up, way up to the sky, 85 feet. Here's Dana Hutchings. Hello, Ed. We are way, way, way up. Nine stories, 85 feet, about 26 meters high in the sky. The best view in the city, really, with Todd Thompson and Gregor Dixon from Victoria Fire and Tom Woods from Esquimalt Fire. This is the lift for life. Tom, tell us why we're up here. We are raising money for cancer and, and bringing awareness to the dangers firefighters face when they're exposed to carcinogens in the fire atmosphere. And this is going to be your home for the next 24 hours. What do you think about that? Well, it's you know what, it's uh, it's going to be fun. We got uh, members from four core departments that are going to come up and visit me for six hours, starting with Gregor, and we're looking forward to raising uh, a whole bunch of money and attaining our goal of twenty thousand dollars. Let's talk about how you got started. Why face this is the uh, firefighters against cancerous exposures really came together. Well, we were just looking for something, uh, a vehicle to generate support for our buddy Spencer Robinson, who's battling cancer right now from my shift and. 
and uh, it's th this is what we've used. The Lift for Life is our first uh, initiative for this. Uh, Spence is right now going through chemo and radiation, and he's a stud. We know he's going to be back at work soon, but we're actually using this as a vehicle for all our departments and all our brothers and sisters in the volunteer departments as well to come down and just support a really good cause. And Gregor, you sort of drew the first shift. It's a bit windy up here and not a lot of room there. No, it's uh, it's pretty tight and it's uh, a little cooler than uh, we had hoped, but uh, yeah, it's it's not going to be too bad. Speaking of cooler, both your heads look a little cooler tonight. Yeah, yeah especially <laughs> that too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the money. We want we have a fundraising goal in mind. Uh, let's talk about that. Well, we we initially started out with an eighty-five hundred dollar goal, a hundred dollars a foot. We've amended that to make uh, twenty thousand dollars. We've had tremendous support throughout the community through. Uh, Spence is a great rugby guy, uh, coach of the CW Wanderers, national team player. So we got rugby playing firefighters up here and the rugby community across the country and around the world has kicked in a bunch of dough. So we're quite confident we're going to attain that goal. Perfect. Thanks very much, guys. Lots of activities happening here all weekend right through tomorrow night at 5 when Tom actually gets to come down from this high, high, high lift, Julie. So it's going to be a lot of events and a lot of fun. We, we invite everyone to come down. All right, thank you so much, Dana. Well, still to come on CH News at 5, a hormone treatment for breast cancer. That's right, up next, it's described as the breakthrough the doctors have been waiting for and why a four-legged friend can help you lead a happier and healthier life. Life Matters is next.